Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, in the latest opinion poll rating, the Madeira Member Parliament, Rigata Gashagwe, has been rated the best <laughs> running mate to deputize Deputy President William Samuel Ruto in this 2022 general election. So, Rigate, you're the best deputy for William Ruto, who has been rated with 24%, Mother Karua there with 16 Mdavadi 10, Karonza there, and other people. <laughs> but the question we are asking ourselves on this panel today, is Rigathe Gashagwe the best bit for William Ruto to bring the different into, Ruto, into what is lacking in Ruto's leadership <laughs> as a rank limit, to bring the difference that Ruto is lacking in the presidency? In case they have to win that election. That is what we want to answer on this punchline. But listen to the Gaza Gashagwe while he campaigning for William Ruto. Then we are going to continue after this short video. Listen to him. Sasa nyinyi watu ya usi anigishu diyo tuondoke. We have problem moja na nyinyi. Tuko na shida moja pahalibu metukosea. Ni muambie? Ama ni wache? Niseme? Mutakasirika? Mutakasirika? Sisi watu ya mulima tumekufa na mija mruto. Sisi uwe kine tumefungwa. Kama mimi wananishikaka Friday. Wananiwachiria mandi. Hata mimi na shukuru mungu hawa kujijika chana. Lakini nikiwa pale sel, ninakuta walevi wa mechanga nyikiwa, ninawafudisha mwapo ya bottom mwapo, wote napeleka kwa mija mruto. Sasa sisi sahile tunateswa. Sahile sisi tunateswa. Mimi na shikwa, dene nyoro na shikwa, kemani chomwa na fukuswa wakamati, e, sudi na shikwa, susa nikeheka na fukuswa, wale vijana yenu mumechagua. Dio wako mkutano na matiangi kupanga vile wataumiza wile mruto. Hapo mumetukosea, na lasma tuambia nyinyi ukweli. Nyinyi watu ya usianigishu, dio muleta imu hindi na hila kijanga na hitu wa tirenu. Na hawa diyo wanapanga usiku na mchana Vila huyu naibu wa raisa taumizwa Mimi na kuambia, waja ni kuambia tulikuwa na hawa Tulikuwa na kutuni, na tiren, na bishra Wakatuambia nyinyi, muna potesa wakatu wenu Na huyu mama alikuwa ya biwot Wakasema muna potesa wakatu wenu Sisi tumepanga mambo yetu Huyu matiangi atatupatia polisi Kulasimisha watu ya North Rift kutupigia kura Eh? Mutakubali? Mutakubali? Mutafukusa hiyo watu? Tafadhali, tafadhali. Mukichagua huyu naibu wa rais na murudisha hao watu ya kumuangamiza hata sisi mutakuwa metukosea. Because pale diyo wanatupangia. Kama huyu kutuni diyo mwenye kuchukua menet kwa mkutano ya kumiza huyu naibu wa rais. Diyo wanaandika menet vile mambo taenda. Mutatufukusia hawa? Mutatufukusia? Asande sana, nimeshukuru na nimemuomba kura ya huyu na wapa raisi. Mutatupatia? Mutatupatia? Huyu kandidati wetu? Wa mautikinya? Mutasukuma ya mbaka ikuru? Mutamusukuma? Asante ni sana na mungu wa bariki. Now we are continuing with our panel discussion, but I have a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you are not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time, once you release a video like this, will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone, anyone who drop comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our video to more viewers or a larger audience. Back to our discussion. Now, having listened to the Gaza Gashagwe and knowing his character, it is easy for anyone to conclude and say that the Deputy President William Ruto and Rigathe Gashagwe have no good international relation and let no one cheat you. <laughs> it is not easy. No one can become the President of the Republic of Kenya and many other countries if he does not have good relationship with international communities. <laughs> That is the truth. No one 
It's not easy. And look at the relation of William Ruto. His relationship with the international community is ish ish. Look at Gaza Gashagwe. Unajua Ruto mshawe katuni hapa Uganda with President Museven. Rigathe Gashagwe has no international connection, no international relationship. So what value does he bring to what Ruto is lacking? Because Ruto is here already lacking international connection. So the right person who should deputize William Ruto in case really he wants to bring the international picture into his candidature. It's not Rigathe Gashagwe. Because that is the biggest thing that Ruto is lacking in his presidency. So regardless, you need President Ghana and Joanna and I. Now Ruto knows him seven. I don't know. You can tell me in the comment section. <laughs> Where is the international relation or network regardless that Gashaga can bring to William Ruto candidature or presidency? So if this is the truth, then I'm certain that Ruto cannot win election or he cannot become the president of the Republic of Kenya by fronting Rigathe Gashagwe as his deputy. Because the international community does not accept these two characters. Now, secondly, having listened to Rigathe Gashagwe, apart from Mount Kenya region vote, what other value does Rigathe Gashagwe bring to William Ruto? Because being a running mate, it means you bring your region and also bring other, the other value from other communities within the country. That is what can make someone to win the presidency. I.e. in 2013 when Uhuru and Ruto was campaigning, Ruto brought the Rift Valley vote. But apart from that, he was able to convince other communities to vote for Uhuru. But still, they went further to rig that election. The way Rigatha Gashagwe is talking, he tell, it tells you clear that this one is a tribal leader. So the only vote that he can bring to the table is the Mount Kenya region vote. But seemingly already Ruto has that value and the votes. So where else can Rigatha Gashagwe bring the other numbers to the candidature of William Samai Ruto? Zero. The snow value he will bring apart from Mount Kenya region vote. And a deputy president should be able to get to Western region, convince people to vote for Ruto. He should be able to get to Nyanza region and convince the Luo community to vote for Ruto. Because we can't run away from the truth that our politics is, is tribal. So you have to make sure that you are convincing every community in the country to join you. He needs someone who can get to Kamban region and convince those people to vote for him, for Ruto. But Rigathe Gashagwe, even when he gets to Ukambani, he goes there to lecture these people and tell them how they lack numbers and values to bring to the table or make someone a president. And he told them openly that there's no way Kalonzo can become a president with your numbers. <laughs> I did that video some time back and we played the clip. So Rigathe Gashagwe cannot add value to that ticket. In as much the rating is putting him high. And number three, if you have been carefully looking on how Rigatha Gashagwe is campaigning and look on the Deputy President William Samuel Ruto, how he's approaching his campaign, how he addresses the people, it is, tells you clearly that both Rigatha Gashagwe and eh, William Ruto are aggressive leaders. They are temperamental leaders. <laughs> They easily get angry. So these two cannot work together. There's no value Rigatha Gashagwe is bringing to William Ruto in terms of the kind of character of a leader he is. Because Ruto is a leader who can make decisions on his emotions. Same to Rigatha Gashagwe. So Ruto needed someone like Kalonga Musioka and other leaders who can bring the international networks to his candidate 
who doesn't make decision on emotions. Mdavadi can do that. Kalonzo can do that. But Gaza Gashaga cannot. These are people of same characters. Now, having Gaza Gashaga as his deputy, even, Ruto, even if Ruto wins the election, the way his people believe or think and UDA, but I don't think so. Even if they win, let us assume. I'm certain these people will disintegrate within one month. They are going to disagree because their, their character cannot work together. You know, Ruta cannot allow Rigatha to give him direction. Same to Rigatha Gashagwe. When he make a decision, you can't pull him back. So these two people cannot make the best leadership in the presidency. They are going to disagree and they will disintegrate. But if you look at President Uru Kenyatta and William Ruto, look at that mix. Uhuru is a person who makes a decision when he has had a well thought. He make a well thought before taking an action. Therefore, he don't go with emotion. That's why he has been able to work with William Ruto. But because of massive uh, because of massive corruption in the government and loyalty. That's why he was kicked out and who uh, had to go for Ayla Odinga. But in real sense, they have been able to work together for their first time. But regarding Naruto working together in the first months, what a collapse. Now, I don't know what you think about this, but that's my view. Sasa so, to put in a comment section to have a continuation of this conversation where I can also read your views and also, you know, when I read your views, I also learn a lot of things. And it, even it makes me to improve on the next analysis. Otherwise, I should say thank you so much for always staying here, for always commenting and for always watching this channel. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.